Hi, I'm Kevin Champany, and I'm a mosaic artist from New York. So about a year ago, um, my business partner got a request for a very large-scale logo for Pan Am, uh, created primarily out of aircraft. And it was actually for the grandson of Juan Tripp, the founder of Pan Am, who essentially created modern aviation as we know it. Pan Am pioneered the ocean crossings. They were the first commercially over the Pacific and the Atlantic in the 30s, and uh, the first to have the jets in 1958 with the 707. Our founder, Juan Tripp, was responsible for the development of the 747. And the 747, of course, was the biggest thing that ever came along. It was huge airplane and cha changed the, not just the culture of aviation, but the, changed the culture of international travel. And, and uh, it shrank the world, which is probably Pan Am's most uh, enduring legacy. It's been 30 years since Pan Am went under. Uh, we still have a camaraderie among Pan Am ex-employees, hard to say ex-employees. Uh, we still feel like uh, we are a family. So every piece begins with a tremendous amount of research. And this is in order for me to best create a piece in my style that best e exemplifies sort of what the client is looking for. He really wanted a celebration of Pan Am and a celebration of their history and their glory. So to give you an idea of the overall scale of this piece, it's four and a half feet in diameter and has about 20,000 individual castings. And so I, I grabbed different planes from different eras to sort of create more of a story, an overall story of, of how they flew and what they flew all the way into the, the modern times. To add a little bit more texture and interest, I added luggage and stewardesses and even drinksters. Um, there's a lot of pins and logos. There's a lot of nostalgic pieces that if a true fan and lover and even someone who worked for Pan Am saw the piece, they could actually pull things out that they might recognize and sort of have some personal kind of attachment or feeling for. There were so many challenges in this piece and part of it was actually just the shape of the pieces that I was working with. And with this, I, I had to sort of counteract the shadows that were created from the large wings sort of jutting out from the piece. And they actually stick out almost four inches from the surface. And I have the, the pieces actually spilling over the edge of the frame to really give it this sense of just mass and fullness. It takes about eight or nine shades of the same color to be able to create a smooth transition. And there's something about doing the layering of these pieces that I just, I'm just in love with. So a lot of my peers have, have called me sort of obsessed and the right. I, I really have to be involved in every aspect of the artwork. So much so that I actually built the frame for this piece. So I, I built a custom jig and actually hand bent the wood for the frame. I sculpted and created all the masters. I made my own molds. I hand matched all the dyes and the colors and poured all the castings, finished each and every single casting, and then hand placed every single one. So, you know, it, it sounds crazy, but maybe I am a little crazy, but that's what I have to do in order to create these pieces. And I think it, it takes a little crazy to be able to dive so deep into each one of these to make sure that the piece is exactly what it should be.